Hi, Nathan Ruder from CardioGage.com. This video is about colchicine for preventing heart attack. This is my first in a series of videos about inflammation and heart disease. Colchicine is an old school gout medication. So this is gout. It's when you get inflammation and severe pain of a joint. Classically, it's this one here. And it's a medication that inhibits neutrophils, these guys over here, and decreases inflammation. Since inflammation is associated with blood vessel damage, colchicine was considered as a possible treatment for vascular disease. This guy here, Dr. Mark Nydorf from Australia, pioneered the use of colchicine for the heart, and he ran the LODOCO trial, low-dose colchicine trial by himself, which was published in 2013. It was pretty impressive. He did it himself with no drug company funding. It was a non-blinded trial, so that's a drawback. But this trial showed a really big decrease in cardiac events, so there was some promise for colchicine and a lot of interest. At this time, it made me wonder, should I recommend colchicine for my patients? But because it was really a, a smallish trial and unblinded, I ended up not recommending it to anybody at any point. Fortunately, though, there was a lot of interest in colchicine, and that led to three big trials. And the low do co 2 trial, which was run by Dr. Nydorf, showed decreased cardiac events, so stroke, heart attack, stenting, but unfortunately, an increase in death. It wasn't massive. It wasn't statistically significant, but it was enough to make you wonder. Then the COPS trial, it showed no change in cardiac events, and it also showed an increase in death. The Colcott trial was the most positive of these studies. It showed a decrease in cardiac events and no change in death. These were all big trials that had thousands and thousands of patients in them. And then there's another trial I wanted to mention, the Lodoco MI trial, which had the purpose of looking at CRP, which is a marker for inflammation. So the higher your CRP is, the more inflammation you have. And they wanted to see if the CRP went up or down with colchicine. The hypothesis, obviously, was that it was going to go down, but it actually didn't change. So that wasn't good. Um, the bottom line here for me and uh, how I deal with my patients, I would consider colchicine for people having repeated events regardless of what we did. So we're using all the medications, lifestyle, eating healthy diet, exercising, not smoking, et cetera, et cetera, and things keep happening to people, I would consider a colchicine for them because it did decrease cardiovascular events pretty substantially in Lodo Co2 and Colcott. But I really reserve it as a last-ditch medication, and I still haven't prescribed it to anybody, but I would consider it in the future for somebody who we just couldn't help otherwise. Thanks for watching. Hit the like and subscribe button for more content and share the video if you found it helpful. See you next time.